welcome to another episode of Sheriff's Garage. Today, I feel like at home again. We have a BMW in the channel to review. Uh, today we have a 2021 BMW 430i convertible. This platform is the second generation of the 4 Series uh, in the convertible or coupe version. And what we have here is a 2-liter two, uh, 4-cylinder two uh, engine, uh, which is a, a twin power turbo. Uh, which what it stands for is two essentially uh, small turbos that uh, power this uh, magnificent B46 engine in this BMW. Uh, a very controversial uh, front grille that uh, upset everyone uh, when, when it came out uh, in beginning of 2021. Uh, was why BMW made this grill so humongous. And uh, some people called it beaver teeth. And uh, to me, it doesn't look any bad. Uh, I feel like it's a good looking uh, kidney grill. Still, uh, obviously a little larger kidney grill, but um, it still has the same BMW design language behind it. And what is cool, this uh, front grille is consisted of three sections. Uh, it's obviously like a 3D dimensional mesh grille and it's uh, functional. It has the uh, power shutters that when the engine needs more air, they will open up. And when it doesn't need it, it's closed off, such as right now. And uh, the upper portion of the, the grille um, is where the active shutters are located. The middle section is where we have the area for front license plates. And the bottom part uh, is uh, all open all the time. And uh, we don't have any issue with uh, airflow through. And um, it's also for aer aerodynamic purposes, obviously. Um, and also, uh, Pulls down the intercoolers and the uh, radiator in the in the front of the vehicle, and under the the grill we have this. Uh, what do they call these type of mustaches? The, the, I think those are the kind of mustaches that we're talking about. But you can probably see what I'm talking about here. That's what we're we're looking at. It looks like a mustache under uh, under the front grill. In the front, uh, again, we do have the LED uh, U-shape uh, headlights. They are beautifully designed, uh, very modern, very bright at night. And uh, this um, front section is, uh, is actually functional right here. The air will go through. If my videographer be kind to show this uh, area and um, the other portions of the front grill and the uh, LED uh, fog lights will also be very bright at night. Uh, other than that, very simple design, elegant. This car uh, is not light by any means. Uh, it's shy under uh, 4,000 pounds. So even though it's a convertible, uh, they still uh, weigh a lot and what uh, what is cool about the convertible feature of this car in the previous generation it was a hardtop coupe or hardtop uh, I'm sorry it was a hardtop convertible uh, but this time we have a soft top canvas material um, soft top um, and what they have done is to reduce the weight distribution for better center of gravity and also uh, it's um, it's been strengthened uh, to the point that it's very quiet it's very isolated it's uh, uh, it's a very nice uh, top actually that they have added to this BMW in the recent models of BMW uh, you access this uh, hood release latch 
and release it twice. And then the hood is completely released from the front. You don't have to access any other parts in order to open. You just lift it up and it's ready to go. So here, this car, as we mentioned, it's a two liter uh, twin power turbo uh, with a beauty cover uh, with BMW badging all around. Two brace towers to strengthen the chassis and stability of the vehicle while cornering. Uh, again, we mentioned that this car is not light by any mean, therefore uh, it needs a little bit of a chassis strengthening uh, method to uh, make the car slightly more drivable and pleasant. Down here by the headlights, these LED lights produce so much heat that they need uh, their own radiator looking uh, venting in order to cool down as the air flows to cool down the uh, headlights and make them more uh, functional and long lasting. Uh, also, we have the negative uh, charging station, uh, positive. As we know, uh, usually BMWs uh, their batteries are in the trunk and uh, for this model they have uh, positioned it in the front actually right here just because it's a convertible and uh, the convertible mechanism goes down into the trunk space they didn't want to use too much of other spaces to occupy the uh, remaining uh, empty spot otherwise very simple engine B46 code for this engine, as we mentioned, producing 255 horsepower uh, and approximately 300 pound feet of torque. This type of uh, engine, the B46 engine, uh, doesn't consume too much of gas. It's a very reliable, long lasting engine. As long as you do your oil changes and maintenance on time, this engine really will last you a long time. It's a, it's a very good, pleasant engine. Alright. When we come towards the end of the vehicle, uh, we do have this beautifully designed uh, LED uh, tail lights that uh, are actually very gorgeous and I think they look very um, uh, perfect for this, for this type of car and uh, looks lovely. Also, a BMW has integrated a very small camera inside the large badging of the BMW for the rear view camera. Instead of adding another piece uh, under the uh, tailgate, uh, they have uh, integrated this camera, which looks really nice. It doesn't look flashy at all. and. Uh, uh, makes the surface very uh, smooth and slick. At this time, we're gonna go take a look at this uh, wind uh, deflector down here. Uh, it's a it's a diffuser. Diffuser. Sorry, we're gonna go take a look at this wind diffuser. It's just diffuser. Just diffuser. Just diffuser. What is a diffuser? Air. Air. Yeah. What is this, a Formula One car? Yep. No. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go take a look at this uh, diffuser down here. Um, they are uh, shaped to be looking like a diffuser, obviously. I don't know how functional they are for a, uh, and for a car that is only going maybe 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour maximum in a city road or highway road. Um, uh, you know, it's not something that is being used in the uh, racetrack, but at the same time, styling wise, I think it's a very good looking uh, diffuser. And uh, these type of uh, vent looking shapes, they are not functional, unfortunately. But as far as uh, design language for the rear of the BMW, they look very nice. Uh, 
they add a little bit of a separation and contrast in the rear section of the vehicle. Uh, very simple, uh, it's a two liter engine, uh, therefore we only have two single pipes coming out of the uh, rear exhaust. And if it was M440i, it would have been the rectangular cup beauty cover essentially on top of the same things, but larger engine, which is inline six. And this one is an inline four. And if it was M4, we would have been uh, really welcomed by two dual uh, exhaust pipes that are extremely gorgeous back here. Uh, opening the rear trunk is very simple. Back here, we do have sufficient amount of room. It's not extremely roomy. Just because it's a convertible vehicle, we are looking at this uh, container looking piece of plastic uh, that when the cover um, you know, folds back, it has to sit inside this uh, container. Um, and there is no uh, automatic button to close the, the trunk, just a simple uh, door uh, pulling uh, latch to essentially close the door. Back here we have a release uh, latch that once you pull it, it will automatically put the rear seats 100% released or it, you can fold them down. And back uh, in the rear portion of that, there is a screen uh, for the wind deflector that, oh, that's a real wind deflector, good Lord. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, yeah, that's the rear deflector that is located behind the uh, rear seats. I'll, I will show you uh, that portion as well. Um, one cool feature about the convertible top of this car is you can drive up to approximately 31 miles per hour um, and still open up and close the opening uh, top of the vehicle. Uh, and uh, my 2005 BMW um, M3, for example, as you guys have watched the video, you cannot drive and open the roof. You have to be stationary in order to open or close the convertible top. This vehicle, you can drive nicely, slow, and then in a moment of notice, whether it's raining or too much sunlight or any other reason, you can close the roof as you're driving slowly up to about 31 miles per hour, as mentioned. To my knowledge, BMW is a very polite vehicle. Almost no other vehicle is as polite as BMW. When you close the large and rather long door of a uh, coupe or convertible in uh, 4 series like this it offers you it hands you the belt to buckle up how nice is that here in interior of uh, BMW 430i uh, we do have a very pleasant cabin to sit in. Uh, these seats are extremely cushiony and comfortable. BMW always does a very nice job with uh, their seats. Uh, they always have these extended um, knee supports and also uh, they're very comfortable. The uh, section for the headrest is also extremely good. Uh, they uh, usually come they come uh, forward and they go backward uh, for better neck support and uh, they are they're very good they're very comfortable this interior is a brown interior um, they call it saddle brown which on uh, white color is very good looking uh, down here in the center cluster of the dashboard we do have the actual gear knob, which is still something that I prefer over rotary type of knobs with uh, with drives and you know reverse or neutral or whatever. 
uh, I still think the the gear lever looks very sharp uh, and the new design looks very good uh, in the previous models of BMWs the um, engine start and stop button used to be in the front by the uh, by the front of the dashboard in the recent years especially I think in from 2020 uh, the models uh, pretty much all across the BMW lineup uh, the uh, engine startup and stop button is right here instead of there and down here we do have the driving modes sport comfort and eco pro which on eco pro obviously gives you the maximum amount of efficiency uh, and comfort is truly a comfort mode uh, the suspension becomes very soft and sports mode obviously it tightens up the suspension a little bit and uh, the vehicle moves uh, with a little bit more uh, power and strength and more uh, agility right here in the center console of the dashboard uh, we are looking at the 8.8 .8 uh, inches of uh, infotainment uh, monitor a very sharp looking monitor it's very clear um, and they have essentially this rounded shape to the uh, piano black uh, surrounding of the monitor which gives it a little bit more of a larger size and uh, there is a nicer and smoother transition into the front uh, dashboard cluster of the of the vehicle and I believe this size is very sufficient but you can order uh, a 10.5 inches uh, of the monitor upon request when we go to the front cluster of the dashboard we are looking at a completely digital cluster now in previous years we had uh, analog cluster now we have digital the tachometer is on the right side and the speedometer is on the left side they have gone for the symmetrical shape of the cluster look and on the right side as you see the numbers start from right to left instead of left to right that we're used to but they uh, their aim was to go for that uh, symmetrical shape of the dashboard cluster on the left side we have the gas gauge and on the right side we have the engine temperature if I if I go to the sport mode it uh, changes the rpm slightly and you can go into uh, standard sport or you can go into individual sport which is it changes the dynamic setting of the vehicle or you can con configure it individually and uh, set it up to to the way that you like in the comfort obviously it's a completely balanced setting for the vehicle and when you go to eco pro again you have the efficient driving setting and standard individual and you can configure it individually so this vehicle as far as what offers for the pricing which is approximately fifty five thousand uh, dollars is a very cool vehicle it's really all you need as far as um, what amenities you're looking for um, AC does a great job it's not too noisy it's not too loud um, only obviously on a high power portion of it uh, other, other than that, it's a very cool, very cool car. Uh, for being a four-cylinder vehicle, it's a very zippy and powerful engine. Uh, 255 horsepower by no means is, uh, is a slouch. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it gives you a, a good amount of uh, power to, to move this vehicle. So also the, the steering wheel of this BMW is not something uh, unique to this vehicle. In the base models of BMWs, uh, this type of looking steering wheel with the tri-spokes uh, are very uh, standard. 
uh, but they come with plenty of uh, buttons. Uh, this area is completely designated for the cruise control of the vehicle. And um, on the right side of the steering wheel, we have the telephone, uh, the voice command, and uh, obviously the knob to go up and down on the monitor and the volume set up for the radio or infotainment area. Right here we have the um, heated steering wheel which I press it you'll see that it's going to say steering wheel heating activated. We obviously need this in Arizona it's a very important feature. Uh, the remaining portion of your body parts are completely burning. <laughs> The only parts that are not burning <laughs> is your hands and that's what you need to be burning as well. So I think that's a great feature to have. But besides that, uh, it's a good size of a steering wheel um, and the, the size of it is very, very nice. It, it fits in the hand uh, really, really nicely. And we also have an M badging here, even though this is a four cylinder engine but this um, uh, M badge is an indication that this vehicle has this uh, M Sports package on it and uh, what the M Sports package does it enhances the uh, suspension of the vehicle uh, also it enhances the steering um, sharpness of the vehicle uh, the suspension dampening and all of that is controlled by the computer through the uh, M package that is added on this vehicle. Overall this is a very cool car to have. It's a true four-seater uh, convertible vehicle which uh, in the uh, similar segments in the industry uh, if you compare this vehicle to a, a Mercedes a C-Class or Audi A5 uh, they do not have enough uh, sufficient amount of spacing for uh, sitting in the back seats but here you really do have enough room to sit and uh, somehow uh, cool and comfortable for kids especially but even adults can sit almost uh, comfortably uh, being a convertible it's great for many uh, months of the year to, to be used and um, Overall, this is a very cool uh, economy car. It gives you uh, approximately 34 miles per gallon in the highway and uh, 28 to 29 miles per gallon in the city. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Uh, I certainly enjoyed, my entire team enjoyed. And thank you for watching, subscribing, liking the, the videos uh, and uh, I want to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel as well, which uh, have gone up uh, very uh, largely, and, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much again, and until next time, drive a BMW. But down here, I want to show you, there is a little, uh, uh, essentially, what is this thing called? release there's absolutely not even two inches of leg room to uh, to sit uh, behind the back seat um, uh, behind the back seat behind the front seat in the back seats we are looking at this uh, beautifully designed headlights headlights <laughs> these are not headlights Holy moly, I need more coffee. And uh, we do have uh, sufficient... Sufficient. Mm.